great aspects of the NIOM system is its biomechanical assessment of motion. The example I'm going to give today, uh, which we start demonstrating in level two, is some of the differential diagnosis that we can do in the top joints of the OA region. So when we're looking at the condyles, and in this example we're going to look at right rotation, we're going to have the patient rotate to the right and there's a restriction. When we look at the condyles, that restriction can come from, if it's from the OA joint, from either the left joint or the right joint. And when we look at the mechanics, and you see that they're deep and they're crescent shaped, the condyles glide. So in rotation, you're going to have the right condyle move back and the left condyle move forward. Those motions work the same when you have somebody flex or extend. So you can look at it as flexion of the right condyle and extension of the left condyle. When we biomechanically assess this, we have the patient rotate and there's a restriction. When they flex and rotate and there's more motion, we have to also take a look at extension and rotate and there's less motion. That would probably indicate that the left condyle cannot extend. To assess it further, what we'll do is we'll have the patient turn this way, and we can have the patient rotate to the barrier, we'll fix the atlas, get our pinky finger up by the occipital condyle, at the barrier we look to see if there's a glide. If we find that there's not a glide, then we can start going into our mobilizations. So you can fix, have them rotate. You can use muscle assist. So turn your head into my chest so the patient's rotating to the right and relax. And then what I will do is I will move that condyle into extension in sitting. And we'll follow our rules of joint mobilization using grade one through constant stretch as appropriate. So you can do multiple repet repetitions of this, and then for a home program, we can give the person a towel and instruct them to improve rotation. Now for the occipital condyles, or for the upper condyles, the towel pull will be more along this plane. So then they can keep the towel close to their cheek as they turn, and do the overpressure, and then come back in order to gain the mobility. And you can do this whether you're doing mobilizations or manipulations. So that's a nice review of what we'll do in some of the level two, looking at biomechanical assessment, assessment of glide, a little bit of the mobilization and treatment, and then some of the neuromuscular re-education or home exercise program.